Hi, we're going to talk about putting an ad on Craigslist, um, but more specifically using a image, not using their limit of four. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to start by opening Composer, which I already have open, and then I'm going to take the code I got from Flickr, and which I pasted on my notepad if you remember that tutorial. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go down back to Composer, but I'm going to go down to the Source tab here on the bottom. It's the third one in from the left. I'm going to click Source. Then I like to paste stuff after a break so I have space above to type whatever I want to type. Um, if you're wanting to type below the image, you can paste it above the this little BR tag, which pretty much means break for a line break. Um, so I'm going to hit Control v and paste the code in. I'm going to go back to normal, and here you can see the image we copied. Um, by default, most programs will put in this little one pixel blue border. I generally remove it, um, and in this case, to do it, I'm going to right click the image, click image link and properties, I'm going to go up to the top and go to the third option that says appearance. In the spacing section, you're going to see three options. Uh, the first one's left and right spacing, so if you want to push text or anything else away from the sides. Um, the next one's top and bottom, which, just like right and left, add spacing above and below the image. Third one is solid border, and to get rid of that border, I just need to put a zero here and hit OK. And if I unclick it, you can now see there's no border. Um, so I'm also going to just type in test text for add, and then hit enter to give a little more space. Um, I also want to resize this image. I can do it one of two ways. I can go to the source and edit it here, but I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to right go back to the normal tab, right click the image, select image and link properties, and choose the second option that says dimensions. Um, first option says actual size, second one says custom size, and since I want to change it from the original, it will be a custom size. And the big reason I'm going to change it here versus in the code is a lot of times they aren't as simple as one for one, meaning width and height are the exact same size. Um, and in this that case, if I have this option where it says constrain and have that checked, what it does is it prevents me from skewing the image. Um, if it's an image that's wider than it is tall, I can change one of the numbers and it'll resize the other part for me to make the image look the same at the new scale. Obviously if you go bigger it might get distorted, but if I want to downsize the image like I do here, this gives me an easy way not to have to you know, edit anything. As you see I change the one, I don't have to change the bottom, the constraint feature does that for me. And when I hit OK, it, go, it went ahead and shrunk it down in proportion. Just to give you a quick example, I'm going to show you what happens if I uncheck that. Um, Again, properties, uh, image and link is the one at the bottom there. And then choose the second tab. But I'm going to uncheck constrain. I'm going to put 300 in for width. And since I don't have the constraint on, it's not going to resize the other one for me. So now you can see I've skewed my image. And that's why I leave that constraint open. So I'm going to right click again go down to image and link properties, go back to dimensions, I'm going to check the, uncheck the constraint, leave it checked that way, so I can change the other one, then I'm going to recheck it, delete it for next time I edit. I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to resize it again. So at this point, I pretty much have an ad that if I want them to go, if they click on this image, it'll take them to the actual image on Flickr, which 
if you're advertising the image works just fine. Um, the main reason most people use images with Flickr or other locations other than the default ones Craigslist, the for Craigslist allows is because you want it to go somewhere else. You want to put link that image somewhere. And to do that, I can right click the image and choose image and link properties again. And this time I'm gonna to go to the last tab at the top that says link and I can change this link in here. So I'm gonna copy from the right and I'm gonna copy everything after the www dot peer, you know, dot part. And I'm just gonna put your website here. Um, if you have a YouTube video and you want it to go there, you can grab that code and uh, from YouTube and you know paste it in there as well. So now I have a link from my image that goes somewhere besides the image itself on Flickr, which more than likely is going to be how I'm using this. So I click OK, and I now have my base ad. And I'm going to also go to Source here for those of you who aren't using this. Here's the completed text. Um, I don't need any of this, and I don't need the these two options. What I really wanted to do was create that, um, which is the, the content. Um, Craigslist will already have the HTML coding, the head, it will already have the basic structure of the website. What I just need is I need the guts of it. Um, so now that I have this, and this is where I actually need to copy it from, I'm going to go to Craigslist, I'm going to select, let's say events, and select post, we're going to say class. So now I have my post option here. I'm going to go back to Composer and I'm going to copy everything that starts with the actual, everything between the body and the end body tags, which are that at line 8 here and at line 16. So I'm going to control C and copy. And then I'm going to click back to Craigslist, select in the description, and I'm going to control V, and just paste that there. Um, let's go ahead and 2011, uh, May, say 20th, I want time to delete this, test class. Then I'm going to hit continue. Select yes. Don't worry at this point if you do not see the image. The image will not appear until you actually finish posting this class. Um, and that's just the way it goes. Um, now, in this case, I don't actually want to post a test class to Craigslist, so I'm going to go ahead and hit edit again and I'm just going to delete all this and log out of my account. Um, so hopefully this has helped. I kind of ran through a lot of information really quick just to try to give you something you can watch over and over again. Please send a request if you want more specific details and what about. Um, hopefully there's other tutorials like there is one on how to get Composer, uh, where that program is. Um, there's ones on Flickr, uh, but if there's something that we have missed or something that's too confusing you want more detailed information on, please send us the request. We're here to help you learn these tools, so um, don't forget to let us know what you need help to add to that toolbox. Uh, thank you very much.